Yo, what is going on, you hairless Honage? Before we get into today's video, I just want to give a quick uh, mention that I do stream pretty much daily over on my live stream on twitch.tv slash azulgg, where you can catch me playing PTCGO live, trying stuff out. So yeah, check out the stream. Uh, today we're playing some games with Dust Talks. I haven't played a ridiculous amount with this deck yet, um, but this is what I've come to as far as the list goes. Definitely want to showcase this uh, deck to you guys. The point of this deck is to evolve up into Dust, Dex, Dust Talks around turn three, turn four, uh, use our ha hazardous evolution that paralyzes and poisons our opponent and then we attack with Kragnal during the same turn with the frozen lock and then they can't use trainer cards to switch out of it so malo and lana is a little bit of a trouble with this card because uh, this only stops item cards from the frozen lock um, and then we continuously use the hazardous evolution with uh, scoop up nets uh super scoop ups um we have what else we had the devolution sprays <laughs> so we try and trap our opponent um and then between zigzagoon and Grimsley, we try and make it so they actually get knocked out coming back into our turn from the Hazard Evolution Poison because it paralyzes and poison and does three damage in between town in between turns with the poison damage. Um, yeah, we try and make it so they get knocked out coming into our turn. So then we once again paralyze their new active Frozen Lock. It's trapped once again, um, and that's the point of the deck. That's the plan with the deck. Um, don't have much else to say about the list besides that. So let's go ahead. Let's get into some games. All right, into our first one. Uh, won the coin flip. Um, I am actually not sure if I like to go first or second with this deck. Um, we can use uh, what's his name? Cascoons attack the cocoon uh, collector to get more cascoons into place. Basically, water duplicates with the frogadier. If you guys are familiar with Greninja, um, so that's nice to be able to use turn two. But finding basic Pokemon is super important, and it sometimes feels pretty hard to be honest. Um, we'll open the Wormpool here because uh, if they knock out our Ditto, we can't recover Ditto. Um, yeah, it feels pretty hard sometimes, so I don't know. Lining up for a turn two Cascoon thing here. The rest of the hand kind of stinks, to be honest. We are up against a Lucario Melmetal, um, which usually plays Chaotic Swell, which is why I held my turf field here, because we got to get that out of play to get our turf field into play and so on. Uh, your hand here is a little bit rough. Uh, we do play a decent amount of draw supporters, but finding that initial draw supporter can be a little bit tough sometimes. It was a greens build. Um... So that means they probably play Malo and Lana. Almost certainly play Malo and Lana, actually. So, um, gonna have to deal with that. That's fine. Them finding Malo and Lana might be a little bit hard for them to do. Um, Duskstone. So, it is a Miss Magus Lucario Melmetal deck. Interesting. I have not seen this before. There's that Marnie Top deck. We're chilling now. Turf Field. I'm still against. I'm not. Eh, we might have to just get the first stadium in play, anyways. They might play Power Plant, actually, instead of Swells. No energy hit. Kind of unfortunate here. Kragnal going to go down, evolve to Cascoon. Um, and we'll turf field, search out a Dust Tox. Pass over to our opponent. Yeah, no energy here. The Cocoon Collector would have been nice to pull out those other two Cascoons out of our, our deck and get them set up, but this really isn't that big of a deal. Our opponent only does 50 damage potentially this turn with the Steel Fist. So um, not even going to knock out my Cascoon, which is sounds pretty good to me. Be interested to see if they actually use Full Metal Wall kind of makes no sense to um that i can come i can't come up with a reason for them to use full metal wall we'll see if they use it um but we're gonna need to get this guy to the active we're gonna need a scoop up net or a um super scoop up we're gonna evolve the active one and then hopefully hit one of those things off the of cynthia um and hopefully get a water energy as well there's the water energy a little bit late not too bad though yes and then we're gonna go ahead and play the cynthia here look for a super, super scoop up look for a scoop up net None of those. Not a lot of anything, really, in this hand. Um, I kind of want to cover the pieces of this Dust Talks, though. So I am going to use a Devolution Spray here. Um, we're going to de-evolve de -evolve twice here. Um, and if they can, if they do get out of this Paralysis, they can knock out my Wormpool. Wormpool? Uh, Wormpool? Wormpool all they want. Um, and actually, next turn, now we can retreat the Wormpool with a Water Energy. Um, now that it, has, it is a worm pull instead of a dust tox with two retreat costs, it's just a worm pull with one retreat cost. That's a pretty cool. Um, another water and the thing we struggled to find uh, two turns ago, having no problem finding now. Okay, we did not find a what's it called here though? A way to paralyze. We can't paralyze this turn. So another worm pull coming down. Um, another Kragnal going to come down, and I think I just have to pass. Uh, give this worm pull up. Yeah, no dust tox unfortunately. No stadium. No dust tox. 
pass over to my opponent but we're fine giving up these these the, our opponent needs to draw six prizes we only play a one prizer deck we don't need to constantly have our opponent locked we're just trying to it, this deck is actually very much so about just trying to draw six prizes before our opponent does um and they can have one prize left but if we get the lock in for the full amount of time sometimes we just win the game that way we don't really need to um constantly have our opponent locked under the uh dust talks lock like right here we'll get it next turn hopefully we get the scoop of heads pick this guy up put the cascoon down on this wormhole continue going for that but we really don't need to um yeah really don't need to have it our opponent constantly locked we don't need them constantly locked at all um so it's fine if these turns are happening the way they are dust talks coming down we're a little bit it's getting a little scary um that's a tails as well we are going to item lock our opponent i'll even attach that there bench another diagonal frozen lock so we are going to lose the lock again on our next turn gonna keep our opponent locked up here for a turn here no draw supporter in hand completely living on the top tech here hopefully it's a good one um looks like they're quite a bit more than a luke metal greens deck as we see this scyther come down uh that means they oh sheesh and a hauntage that's interesting um I have no idea what the Haunage is going to evolve into. The Scyther evolves into Scizor GX, I'm sure. Haunage, I've got no clue. There's a Cobalion with the metal symbol in a greens deck. Well, we have just been outdone here. Uh, we can't, we can no longer put special conditions on our opponent's Pokemon. I think that's where we concede this game, especially with a dead hand. Did not see that coming. Um, yep. All right, into another one going first. Hopefully, we just don't play up against a Cobalion GX. Um, Cryagon will start. We got some Wormples for the bench, and we got a Turf Field. Uh, nothing too ridiculously strong, um, but definitely possible to, you know, get into a turn three. Looks like we're up against a Control deck from our opponent. <clears throat> this is actually a pretty good matchup for us. Control is a pretty good matchup for us. Uh, as long as, you know, we get into... Um, the item lock is the big thing, actually. But I'm not going to attach an energy yet, because, um... We don't want to put energy in play for them to, like, Crushing Hammer away. So, Wormpool's coming down. And... Pass over to our opponent. Um, but, yeah, we're set up for a good turn, too. It's a pretty good matchup. Control is a pretty good matchup for us. Frozen Lock is super annoying for them to deal with. And then the Paralyzing of their Orangaroos and stuff. Uh, it just makes it hard for them to, to stay in the game, for sure. So, already looking like a, a pretty good, uh... Uh, match so far they don't play a whole ton of stadiums sometimes so hopefully the turf field sticks around for a little while gives us a chance to get into some dust talks that was a draw pass from our opponent all right that's interesting um gonna get out a second cascoon here and then we're gonna go into that frozen lock for 10 frozen lock for 10 double cascoon looking pretty good to me let's see if our opponent has anything else in the hand to work with besides another draw pass but uh, who knows? That might be all they have in this one. It's a pass again. All right. Well, Dustox is coming down. Yes. Paralyzed and poisoned. Gonna go ahead and search out another Dustox. Um, and then go ahead and... Mm, frozen lock. 10 damage. Po 30 from poison. They'll get knocked out coming back into our turn if they don't have anything to work with this turn. Let's see. Do they got anything? Mancino is all locked up. Here comes an Articuno to the bench. All right. They're still kicking. Not over yet. Uh, yeah, this game's not over yet, I guess. As the Articuno is here. There's a water. Here comes a Cold Crush. All right. Early Cold Crush. We do have another water to work with, though. Uh, seems an appropriate use of Cold Crush, though, if I do have to say so myself. So, Oh, did I do this a little bit too aggressively? No, this is fine. Um, yeah, it's fine. We have to use it at some point. I maybe should use the super scoop, super scoop up last turn, actually. I think I should have used it last turn, actually. Frozen lock once again. We don't have to keep them paralyzed, though. It's more so just getting the poison damage in play, because they're not attacking us anyways as a control deck from our opponent. So it's really just the, the poison damage that's the big difference. Keeping them paralyzed is not actually super relevant, um, unless it's the Orangaroo, which this is not. So Let's see what they get rid of there. Our draw supporter, unfortunately, will scoop up. That's fine. Recycle to the active. They can hard retreat next turn. I cannot dust talk some, but that's fine. Sure, if you'll just keep thinning out the deck of these uh, dudes. Frozen lock once again. Yeah, if they have another energy. They can hard retreat this uh, Articuno. 
Yeah, like I said, there's no reason to paralyze them again. We don't even know if they'll for sure have that. Um, this deck doesn't play a whole ton of energy, and they're already in down three, one in play, two in the discard pile. So, I, if I had to bet, I would say they probably don't have another energy to work with here. Mars Bryson Man, that's fine. Yeah, and once again, not don't have to re-paralyze it in this matchup. They're not attacking us. We're not preventing them from attacking in this matchup. We just want to prevent them from using items while drawing our, our prize cards as fast as possible. So re-poisoning them for 30 doesn't make a difference. They're still already poisoned for 30, so... Don't need to do it again. Using it once is fine. Yeah, they'll get knocked out going into their turn with this Frozen Lock. Here is a Quick Ball. Give a Crag, and I'll get another Worm Pull into play. Use this again. I don't think there's anything to grab. Yep, nope. Um, Ordinary Rod is prize. Good to know. Name Frozen Lock. Get our first uh, first knockout here on this Articuno. There's a draw supporter. We won't have to use that for a little bit while. But there's that Ordinary Rod. That's a good one. That's an important one for uh, being up against any kind of mill deck. All right, they've got a Zacian now. They have some hope. They have some hope here for sure. They have a chance. Here comes a Mars. What are they going to get? All right, a turf field's fine. Attached to Mencino, they'll be able to retreat to Jirachi. This, this deck actually is super good. We got super good math against the Jirachi because we paralyzed Poison it. We frozen lock it. Um, it'll take 40 going into the turn, 30 coming out. So it gets knocked out coming into our turn, which is exactly what we're trying to make happen here. Um, now, it looks like they're playing like a full control build, which means they do play Boss's Orders, um, which we can actually keep Devolution Spray in our hand to help play around. Because uh, if they bring up one of our Dust Talks, we can de-evolution de spray it down to just the Worm Pull and then hard retreat it with a Water Energy. So we're once again to hold the hand, Frozen Lock. Um, they're out of Mars. Oh no, they just have first Mars. One more Mars left, so they could still rip a good card out of our hand. This is the biggest card to keep around for as long as possible. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to Devo Spray yet, because if they do have Boss's Orders this turn... Alright, second Mars. Eh, there goes my Water. We do have the Ordinary Rod, though, so we can recover both those Water Energy. Cragnall and Worm Pull are not really what we're looking to recover. If they mill... Dust Tox or Cascoon, that's what we want to recover. But making sure we can continuously have water energy is a big deal. So I will probably Ordinary Rod next turn, uh, recover the waters and the Worm Pool. Probably not recover this Kragnall because it'll be a dead card for the whole game. Uh, De-evolve this guy down, um, evolve up over here, and then play the Cynthia will probably be the play next turn. Just got to keep making sure we can Dust Tox um, as often as we need to and making sure we like trap stuff like the Orangaroo is a big deal. So... Tails, all right. Three prize cards left to get. Another Dust Talks. And there's a Concede, not surprised. Uh, our opponent had a terrible start on top of it being a pretty bad matchup. So uh, it's a fair Concede there, I think. All right, into another one here. We are going second. Our opponent did win the coin flip. Uh, got the Kragnall start. So we're definitely going to do that. Going to get that early Frozen Lock option uh, here. We don't have to, but better to have put it put that in the active over the worm pool just to have the option zamazenta start from our opponent you don't see the zamazenta going around uh everywhere but uh pretty strong card overall there's a zation so it is a metal metal box deck of sorts it could be combo zation we'll find out there are the goggles um can't put damage counters okay so we can still poison and paralyze i was just making sure it wasn't prevent all effects but it's not um, we are going to be able to trap the Zamazenta in the active as well with the Frozen Lock here early on while we set up. Just going to play the Cynthia. They, only, they already have a four-card hand, so we don't really need to reduce it any further. Wormpole, Wormpole uh, is pretty good. Frozen Lock. Unfortunately, we don't have anything else to work with here. Uh, no follow-up draw supporter. We do have a Cascoon, um, and we do have some time to work with because we are going to be Frozen Locking. So, not in a terrible spot. And they Marnied us. Okay, bailed out of this one a little bit for sure. Got the Caitlyn and Cynthia. Got another Kragnall. Caitlyn and Cynthia probably weigh the boss's orders because the scoop nets are so important in this deck. Um, yeah, we have a backup Kragnall to work with. Maybe we'll give it to the top deck. We'll see what our top deck is, of course. And then we'll commit to that Caitlyn and Cynthia. Definitely want to keep around the water energy. Get rid of the boss's orders. Going to draw some cards as well as get a draw support for next turn. That's what they do so well for us. Kragnall, energy, frozen lock once again. Cynthia for next turn. That's why we like the Caitlyn and Cynthia. So they're a draw support for the turn. Um... As well as getting us a draw supporter for the next turn. Second energy to the Zamazenta. Are they going to retreat and get an attack off here? Nope, just Intrepid Sword. They're setting up for that Assault Tackle, it looks like. That's fine with me. I don't, I don't think I'm afraid of the Assault Tackle at all, to be honest. Top deck. There's a Cascoon, finally. And, yeah, now we're starting to get rolling here. Need Really need to find a Stadium. A Stadium is what really gets our deck moving. No Stadium. All right, Frozen Lock once again. Yeah, that's Stadium. The Turf Field 
is what really gets our deck moving, especially because it can get stuck in play for multiple turns potentially if our opponent doesn't have a stadium of their own, um, which just can be great, to be honest. It can be great if it's just stuck in play. All right, they're going to take out our Cascoon. This is fine. Our deck can uh, sit around for a little while and do nothing, so I don't mind too much that they took out our Cascoon here. Is slightly annoying, I will admit. Going to keep him item locked here. Marnie. There it is. All right. Turf field is in play. Let's go. Double Cascoon setup. This is what we've been waiting for. This, the turf field really gets things moving. Don't play any other search for our dudes besides the turf field. We do play four turf field though. Once they're in play, very easy to keep them moving with the super scoop ups, the scoop up nets. They don't really leave play. Um, here we go. Knocking out our, uh, yeah, salt cycle's pretty good. Definitely but way better than attacking with Um, they might play the one card we're scared of, um, like I mentioned before, is Malon Lana. Malon Lana's kind of scary for us. Um, do this. Grab the Dust Talks. And. Yeah, a Frozen Lock. I don't see a better thing to do. Frozen Lock sounds fine to me. Frozen Lock, I'm up. We could have benched the Ditto, I guess, when we pick up this Dust Talks. But we could already evolve it there. Um. Maybe could have benched the Ditto, I guess. That would have been the one thing we could have done. I'll bench him next turn, I think, for sure. Start with the turf field, see what's in the deck. Yeah, there's the Malo and Lana that I was scared of. All right. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I was afraid of a Malo and Lana being in their deck. Um, it's kind of how quickly they found it more so than anything. So we're going to set up this Tustox, and we might go into Jirachi depending on our top deck. If we can top deck an energy or something, we can just go back into the Cragonal. But if we need to get into a draw supporter, we can set up to Jirachi for the turn. So Dustox goes up first. Because we are going to scoop up net that. Is a super scoop up. Going to turf field. Get a uh, Cascoon. Start with the super scoop up because we can scoop up net confirm that. Alright, so we're going to pick this up with the super scoop up. Jirachi goes up. Stellar Wish. Unfortunately, it's only an escape board. That is not good. Still alright, I guess. Paralyzation. Evolve to Cascoon. No draw support. That's what we were looking for was a draw supporter there. So, kind of thinks he'll not see that. Yeah, going to run to Wormpool. I'm sure they'll be able to switch out of this. If they don't, then we can continuously paralyze them still. Um, yeah, if I had to bet, though, I'd say they probably will have a switch here and be able to switch into one of the other guys. Yep, switch back into the Zamazenta. Continue swinging with that guy. We'll get another Stellar Wish off this turn, and hopefully this Stellar Wish finds us that... Uh, draw supporter so we can get a water energy and start frozen locking plus dust tox this one has been so close to being what we're looking for out of the deck uh scrapper is pretty good here though yep that is very unfortunate for our opponent to have found their scrapper all right gonna have to deal with that now no escape board on the jirachi so we have to pick up the jirachi as well now which definitely stinks all right goodbye wormpool jirachi goes up Looks like a quick ball gonna use this to grab a dust tox Still, I wish. Please give me a draw supporter. There we go. That's a Cynthia. Dust Talks out. Poison paralyzed. Uh, Cascoon down. Scoop up net the Jirachi. Set up the Cragonal. Quick ball away the Jirachi. You can't. It's going to be hard to utilize it anymore. Drop another Cragonal. Cynthia can definitely still win this game. Just need a water energy right here. There's the water energy. All right. We're in it. This is what we're looking for. Get rid of that. Um, I'll grab the Zigzagoon just in case we need him. De evolution spray this guy. Just the top one. Want to be able to evolve it as soon as possible. All right. Frozen lock. We've done it. We've gotten to the point where we want to be. Now we are set up and uh, hopefully it sticks for a little while. We do need to still find some. Oh no. Second Mallow and Lana already. Right when you think you got him, they have the second Malamana. Okay, we're not there yet. Um, once again, have to try again. Here comes a Brave Blade. Once again, need a Water Energy uh, to, <laughs> to get back into this one. Yeah, I would, I'm not that surprised that they play a second Malamana because it is a Luke Metal, uh, Lucario Metal Metal deck. Kind of annoying they found it that quickly, I guess, more so than anything. One Water left in the deck. 18 card deck. We're going to play a Marnie, hope for the best. Here we go. Poison Paralyzed. Um, let's see, they'll go 70. 
Uh, um, so they will get knocked out coming to our turn already. We don't need to put the Zigzagoon down. I don't yet. I don't think. Marnie, here we go. Need our water. There it is. Okay, we're alive. Super scoop up. Got to start resetting these dust talks with these scoop ups. All right. Also pretty good. They're poisoned and paralyzed. Frozen lock. Once again, poison and paralyzed. Next turn, we can go Cascoon, Cascoon, and do it two more times. We do need to start finding our other devolution sprays and stuff, so we might Marnie turn after next. Third battle with Lana. All right. We can't handle that. Our opponent's going to walk away with the dub here. And they already found a 28 card still in their deck. Yeah, I don't think I can handle back to back. I mean, yeah, three Malon Lanas with how quickly they found them. I can't handle that, man. They're going to walk away with that. That's going to do it for these videos with the Dust Talks deck. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed them. <laughs> if you did, uh, give the video a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Uh, and peace. Yeah, we can't handle Cobalion GX, three Malon Lana. Bro, people were prepared for Dust Talks today, I guess. Um, thanks for watching, guys.